So we had a very uneventful morning. We spent a couple hours in a laundromat washing all our clothes. Um, so there was really nothing worth vlogging, but now we are going to head back into Cardiff, um, go to some tea rooms that I went to last time that was really nice, and maybe check out the castle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> after we walked around Cardiff Castle, we, what did we do? We went, um, for a late, or oh, an early dinner, a pub called the Duke of Wellington. Um, and now I'm just letting my Cajun chicken go down before we go to that ghost walk tonight, and it is actually tonight. Mm. Mm. And Brendan found this brochure down at the reception, which is about the museum. And you know, what's really cool is that it's actually a bunch of old buildings relocated to this one place, so it's all like out in the open. Yeah, really that's where we're it. walking around. Yeah. So that's interesting. That's where we're going to be having our ghost walk tonight at St. Brendan's Museum. I'm going to lay here and let my food go down for a bit before I start packing all the washing we did today. And then we're heading to Manchester in the morning. Manchester. 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 So that tour. Tom. So that tour was so good. It's the only opportunity that you get to actually enter that museum at night. Um, and I'm really bummed that we're not gonna be in Cardiff any longer to actually be able to go there during the day because those old buildings were incredible. Um, a couple of experiences happened um, that the whole group felt um, that can't really be explained. In the very last building, um, everybody was standing around listening to the guy talking. All the lights were off, and one of the like fight the old metal fire stokers, like you could hear that clink, like someone was throwing it down. But there was nobody standing close enough to it to be able to do that. So that was unexplained, and also just some like creepy feelings in some of the buildings as well. Um, so I would definitely recommend that. I think it's it's a tour through a group called Cardiff History and Hauntings and the guy was such a good storyteller telling the history about all the buildings. So I'm really glad we did that and even Brendan felt things, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. So we're heading back to our hotel now and I need to pack and then we're heading off to Manchester in the morning. Thank you. 